to the love of my life on our wedding day. Christy, I've always known God is real and can give you a million examples of how I know. But meeting you and watching our story unfold over the last four years is just another testament to just how real, amazing, and faithful God is. I've prayed for you in this day all of my life. I prayed to find a love that was strong and would stand the test of time, just like my grandparents had. To find a wife who would love me unconditionally and be trustworthy with my heart. Someone who would love God first and place him at the foundation and center of everything. Someone who would be my best friend and biggest supporter. You look so handsome. Who would be a strong, loving mother and nurturer as we built a family of our own. Who would be beautiful both inside and out and strong enough to handle whatever life threw our way. I'm so thankful that all of my life's ups and downs, twists and turns, closed doors and open ones have led me to you and this day. We've come together today at the invitation of Christy and Jeffrey to share in the joy of their wedding. So God loved us and created us to love others. And our lives find completion only as we love and are loved in return. Thank you, thank you. I can't spin, but you can walk around and look if you'd like. Jeff. We stand here together on our wedding day, and my heart couldn't be more excited to spend forever with you. Since the moment we met, you've been a bright light in my life. You're an amazing man and father, and I can't wait to grow our family together. I feel so blessed to stand here with you today and call you my husband, and I still can't believe that you're the one I get to fall asleep to every night and wake up to each day. I promise you continue to love Tristan as my son, and love him harder for the 829 days he lived before we met. Finally, I vow to always continue dating and to keep things spicy just the way you like your margaritas. <laughs> so today, I give you all of me. I want to be your heart and your home and your safe place. You're my person forever and ever, so I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to be there for all the last mornings and three throws, and can we watch some things and answer that questions? He's mine forever. I love you to the moon and back, always and forever. I love you. I love you. Those are awesome. Love you. I love you. I, Jeffrey Staten, take you, Christy Doyle, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Christy Doyle, take you, Jeffrey Staten, to be my lawfully wedded husband. To love you, the love of Christ. To have you and to hold you. From this day forward. For better or worse, for richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. You shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness. And let the winds of the heaven dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. With this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. With this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife. And stand together, but not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Blessings, blessings upon this family. I therefore, 
by the authority that God has vested in me, pronounce that you are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Now you may kiss the bride. And now, family and friends, guests, I am elated to make the very first presentation to you of Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey and Christy Staten. About it. This is an evening that you have never seen before, and you will never see this evening again. We really do appreciate y'all being here, sharing in this occasion. Thank you for family and friends, and we pray that you would just bless this fellowship. Long story short, we meet Jeff, and I am instantly like, no. No way, this is not the one. Not only does he live across the country, but Christy was just, no one was ever gonna be good enough for her and Tristan. So the night goes on, I'm sure the dice game was played, and Jeff bets me that he will in fact get her number, and he will take her on a date. And we can all see who lost that bet. <laughs> I have the joy of being the bonus mom of Jeffrey Staten. And I can't tell you what joy I feel in knowing that from now on, I have a bonus in my life. It is my daughter in love, Christy Doyle. But I'm not done. Look how additionally I have been blessed. I now have a bonus grandson. Me and Jeff get along so well because he's the male version of my wife. With that being said, I've pretty much been married to him for four years now. <laughs> and have a few bits of advice for you, Christy. To make it easy, I figured I would give you the advice in a language that you guys both know well and that's basketball. Always remember you're on the same team. Remember to communicate the game plan. Be sure to make him your number one draft pick day in and day out. Play offense, even when you want to be defensive. Share the ball, be the alley to his oop. Shoot your shot, tell him he looks good in his uniform. Slap his butt after a great play. And of course, let him score. <laughs> If you do all these things, that championship ring on your left hand will stay shiny. And most importantly, you share her unconditional love for Tristan. God knew exactly what he was doing, bringing you into their lives. I've never seen Christy happier than when she's with her boys. May you never stop falling in love. And cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Staten. I love you guys. Cheers.